Your Honor, Chancellor, Speaker, Honorable Ministers, Faculty, Staff, Friends, Family, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Fellow Graduates. It's already been said during the presidential remarks, somebody said it, they talked about the journey. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And some of the journeys are a little different than others. Some of them are shortcuts, some of them are the long way. I want to tell you a little bit about my journey that led me here today. And it started when I left school halfway through grade nine to join the Air Force. Now, I didn't leave school for any other reason that I needed some discipline in my life. I was president of the Student Government Association. I played varsity basketball. I played in a rock band. I was making good money. Everything was, was wonderful in my life, but I didn't have the discipline because my mom and dad had separated and divorced. And I felt everything was going good for me, but I thought, you know, there's two ways to go. There's two paths that I could take, and I was so concerned that I might take the wrong path. In those days, there was absolutely no alcohol, there were no drugs, things were so good. But I still missed something in my life, so I went and joined the Air Force. Then I came out, and I worked as a, as a laborer at the Mactaquack Dam. I was a welder's helper, I was an electrician's helper. I drove a bread truck, I sold cars, I owned a nightclub. I was a private investigator, I had my own security company, and I've been working since I was 15 years old. And I always regretted not getting that education. So I went back as an adult, and the first stop was in the industrial park in Minto, the wonderful community of Minto, where in a trailer, I started to get my upgrading, they called it then, adult education, and I started back in grade six, and I went up to grade 11, and then I had to come to Fredericton to classrooms on Queen Street where I finished my grade 11 and my grade 12, and I felt so good about it. But that's part of the journey. I've spoken all over this province, and I have always consistently told the kids that I was talking to how important an education is. And of course, some life lessons that I'd like to talk about. And those life lessons are, if you are trying to climb the ladder to get to the top, make sure that people are holding the ladder for you. Don't knock them off the ladder. The other important thing is never, ever look down at anybody. Either look up to them or look them in the eye. That's very important. So it's been quite a journey, and the journey continues. We continue each and every day to learn. Fellow students, this university has given me something that I never had. I never had a graduation. I never went to the prom. I never went to a reunion because I've never belonged. Well, you know what? Today, I belong. I am a student of St. Thomas University. I just turned my tea ring around. And when we get together for a reunion, I'm going to be there with you. This is one of the happiest days of my life. And I wish you good health and happiness. And may God richly bless you and keep you. And you are going to start out today to change the world and to make the world a much better place in which to live. And I am so proud to be one of you, and I also want to acknowledge my daughter Angela, who we missed during the introduction. My entire family is here today, and I love them so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Central Park 